Hey, it's Jamila from Color Me Crafty and I'm back again with another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make stickers in Photoshop. Um, there are a couple reasons that you may want to use Photoshop over Cricut Design Space. My main reason is that it's easier for me to save and store my files to my computer as opposed to Cricut Design Space, sometimes it gets hard to find them. So I prefer to use Photoshop to design as opposed to Cricut Design Space. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make stickers in Photoshop. I'm also gonna print from the Photoshop Print Manager and the Cricut Design Space Print Manager just to see if there's any difference in color. So before we get started, why don't you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a tutorial. Let's get to it. Make your canvas the size that you can print in Cricut Design Space. So I'm going to change this over here to inches and make this 6.75 by 9.25 and go ahead and create and I'm making stickers for my babies today so I'm just going to type out all of their names and um as you can see, they're white, the same color as the background, but if I turn that on, you can kind of vaguely see them. But I'm gonna change the color by double clicking on the layer panel and then color overlay. And I'm just gonna, um, they'll probably be changed again, but color overlay and then you click on the actual color and then that's how you change it. I'm gonna change them all to pink right now. And next, I'm going to change the size of them. And to do that, instead of um, changing it in my properties panel here, I'm just gonna select all of the names and on my Mac, Command T, or you can go up here to edit, free transform, and that'll um, get you to the same uh, setting. So I actually like this font. So now I'm just going to add the offset. So to add an offset in Photoshop, you double click on the layer and then click on stroke and oops, you can change the stroke here. You can use a slider to change the stroke or you can type in the number and I'm gonna make it white and do the same thing to all my other layers. And just to fill up the sheet, I'm going to keep doing um, their names. And I just select everything, copy and paste. So if you can see, there are some white spaces in that the machine would cut in, in between um, the letters of the last layer. So I'm actually going to make that stroke just a little bit bigger. To get rid of that space. Which one do I have? Oh, select it. change the color of this so that I can see and make sure that I got it all. Oh, there's still a little bitty piece here, so I'm gonna go back and make it just a touch bigger. All right, so we got it all. And I could add some fillers in there to fill in those spaces but for today's tutorial I am not so the next thing I'm going to do is export this as a PNG and 
make sure that transparency is clicked on. So in Cricut Design Space with a new canvas open, you're going to upload your sticker sheet. So go to upload, upload images, click on browse, and either type the name into the search or if it's already showing, just double click it. There is nothing we need to do to this file or this image. So just click on simple, click continue. And if I wanted to remove some stuff, I could, I'm not. Click on continue again. And then I want to say this as a print, then cut image. And it's already named. You can add tags to your images that you upload to Design Space. And that way it makes it a little bit easier for you to find later. Now I want to upload this to my canvas. So click on it and then click on insert images. So because of the way Photoshop saved, my image is bigger. So all we need to do is adjust it. And to do that, you just click on your image and I'm going to type in 6.75. And now the image is size for print and cut. So like I said at the beginning, I am going to print from Cricut Design Space and also from the Photoshop print manager to see if there's any difference in um, colors between the two. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on make it, click continue. To be able to print from Photoshop, I need to save the image to my computer and then upload it into Photoshop and print from there. So. Let me click send to printer and I have my printer selected and I'm going to use the system dialog box and then click on print. And I'm going to leave all these settings the same and just um, down here where it says PDF, I'm going to click on the little drop down, click save as PDF and I'm going to name this girls stickers with registration with red just good and I'm notating where I saved it to I'm going ahead and click on save and then get ready for printing I'm gonna go ahead and print from design space first so we're gonna go back to send to printer and I am still gonna use the system dialog box I'm leaving my bleed on click on print and what I do in the system dialog box is I like to change it to best. We'll see later if it's worth printing from here or printing from Photoshop. So now let's move back over to Photoshop. So now I want to open the girls stickers here. Now check all your settings. Um, I have grayscale set it or select it for some reason usually I use the RGB colors so um, make sure that all your settings are right or correct so here it is with the uh, registration mark around it now from here all we need to do is print so go to file print and I need to change my printer and also my print settings. Click on save. Now you don't want, want to mess with the size because you want for design space to um, read those registration marks. So don't touch the size. Just change your, um, you can change the paper size and you can change your printer. Um, I'm going to change this to Photoshop manages colors and we're going to leave this um, setting set up. So from there, I'm going to go ahead and click on print and let it print. So. We have 
our stickers all printed. I have not cut them out because in the next video, I am going to show you how to laminate um, your stickers before you cut them. So um, we got them printed out. I printed on both glossy and matte papers. And you can see that there's really no color difference here either. Um, this one is from Cricut Design Space, and this one is printed through the Photoshop Print Manager with um, the printer selecting the colors. So, as you can see here, there's really no difference. There's no difference in color, but if you if you look, printing from the Print Manager in Photoshop actually gives makes the print area a little bigger. So, like I said, in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to laminate these and then we're gonna get them cut out and we'll know if this will cut from the Photoshop print manager and if they will be the same size. See you next time.